If you've ever listened to a piece of music where you feel immersed in the audio, almost as if it's happening around you, then chances are you'll have experienced audio panning. Audio panning is the distribution of sound across left and right stereo channels to create spatial effects, allowing sounds to move from left to right or vice versa as you're listening to them. As video editors, you can use this technique to add depth, dimension and atmosphere to your videos, just like many producers of music, film and TV have done, enhancing their storytelling by adding another dimension to their craft, captivating audiences and drawing them deeper into the narrative. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dan? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. So as you can see, or rather hear, mixing our sounds across these dimensions of left and right can make a huge difference to the way we experience a piece of music, film soundtrack or even dialogue on screen. The great news is you can easily master this technique right here in LumaFusion, so let's get started. To adjust the panning of a clip, double tap on a piece of media with stereo audio on your timeline. Open the audio editor and expand the pan control group. Here you'll find the pan slider where you can pan your audio to the left or right. As you do this, be sure to wear headphones so you can hear how your audio is being affected, listening back to the clip in the preview. Move the slider to the left and you'll hear the audio out of your left headphone. Move the slider to the right and you'll hear the audio out of your right headphone. If you'd like to add some dynamic flair to your audio panning, enable keyframes here to vary the panning over the length of your clip. So here you can see I'd like my audio to pan from left to right gradually as my media plays through. I've added one keyframe at the beginning and I've panned my media to the left. I've added another a few seconds later on in my clip and I've panned my media to the right. Pause the clip at any point and tweak the panning to your heart's content. If you prefer, you can activate keyframes and adjust the pan slider in real time as the clip plays out. This is a really fun method and it's like painting with sound, but just be aware that you will create a lot of keyframes for yourself this way if you want to go back and make any changes. Once you've mastered the pan slider and are happy with the panning of your audio, think about how you can further enhance the sound by using keyframes to alter the volume of your clips as it pans from one channel to another, or even adding audio filters and effects. With these simple steps, you can take your audience on a journey. Have a go with the audio from an interview, for example, or a piece of music or a sound effect and guide your audience's attention and enhance their storytelling experience. Audio panning is an extraordinary editing technique when used with intention. So think about those scenes where you need to enhance your storytelling, immersing your audience into the scene and boosting the emotional impact of your video. Mm -hmm.